Welcome to Love Them Knives channel, LTK here. Two Sun Knives. Do we talk about Two Sun Knives here? Yes, we do. We really love them. And this one is Mazwan Mokdar again, called the Stargazer. Thanks for tuning in. The Stargazer, Mazwan Mokdar, and he is famous for having done this one. <laughs> Did you like that finger flick? Come on, get serious about it. Stingray. There's the Stingray. The TS-136 Stingray. Really cool. This is in D2. And so people like that. Here's the Stargazer. Now, I guess, you know, you got another front flipper look to this knife. And it's titanium with carbon fiber scale in front. So, no, I don't like that. I'm not big on that. If you're going to do it, do it total carbon fiber with, a, oh, I don't know, with a liner lock. Or you can do carbon fiber with a bolster lock, um, you know, and titanium liners underneath, that kind of thing. Or full tie. Full titanium would be fine. Now, they did the Stingray, and guess what? Yeah, exactly. So it's basically titanium liner lock, even though, I mean, these scales just provide a little thin overlay to really a titanium frame lock. But, got to call it a liner lock now. There you go. So I like the symmetry of this. It looks good on both sides. It looks the same. And can I do this front flipper? Yes, I can. So Stingray, and apparently he likes to stay with that front flipper cutout type thing on the blade. So this is a front flipper as well, but you can take your third finger back or whatever and kick it open. Got that cleaver thing going on there. And so your contact patch is really good. Really good there. Now, not a terribly big knife. Take a look. Three inch blade, seven inches overall. The three and the seven, right? So millimeters, 75, 76, 77, however you want to do that. Let's make sure we're there. Oh, 18 centimeters overall length. Now, let's take a look at our blade stock and it's ooh, 0.15. That's pretty thick stuff. 3.8 millimeter. How fat? Half an inch and uh, about 13 millimeters thick so yeah it's got some heft in here you can slide up a little bit there's real no protection here to keep your finger from sliding forward so you got to watch that nice let me see will it i got it. whoop yeah that was my chart that i'd printed out but oh well it's expired. It always gets updated, so there's no point. Yeah, that's pretty sharp. Pretty sharp out of the box. You know, that's always been my experience with two sun knives. They're pretty sharp right out of the box. Yeah, just a little over 100 grams. 102, I guess you could call it. So, 3.6 ounces. And that just depends on what you think, you know, is that heavy? Well, it's a seven inch knife, so let me see. We got another small knife around here, like the Mini Doman. And the Mini Doman has almost a three inch blade. So you're looking at about the same. Now this is about 2.8 ounces. So this is heavier, this is heavier. like that 
It's easy to disengage this knife though. Right there, and there's your hardened steel insert in there. Your lockup is 20-25%. Pivot's nice, machined, attractive. What do the screws look like? They're not bad. They're not cap head, they look machined. So they're pretty nice. Um, of course, titanium pocket clip, not reversible. Titanium backspace, er, backspace, er. Uh, okay. Looks like a ceramic detent bong. Yeah. Now, you might want to uh, watch yourself when you drop this down because you don't really have a flipper tab that's going to come back and hit your thumb and protect you from the blade. So, you need to watch that. I mean, obviously, uh, if you lay your finger here, you're not going to drop the blade at all because the front flipper part extends way up here. So, when you drop it, you know, drop it like that. And you can get yourself out of the way. There you go. Nice. Reasonably lightweight, small. If you like the design, this is a knife for you. If you don't like the design, this is not a knife for you. This is not my favorite design. Not from him. You know, the Stargazer, no, I like the Stingray better. You know, I, I do like the Stingray better. Stingray is a really cool knife. Let me give that a little drop too. But yeah, I mean, overall, I like the Stingray better. Going to be interested in seeing what's coming from him going forward. And hopefully it doesn't come to this. Um, yeah, I, I don't like the mix of materials, but that's just me. And obviously I'm in the minority. So there's a lot of people have no problem with that. Actually, they like it. Uh, they'll take a titanium scale off and replace it with carbon fiber just to do that. So uh, that puts me, yeah, kind of out. But, uh, you know, everybody's got their own particular tastes. This has got nice action, though. It's a nice knife uh, from that regard. And it's sharp out of the box. So I'll leave you to it. The Stingray. The Stargazer. All kinds of crazy things coming from uh, from Tucson these days. Really nice knives. Really great designs. Interesting. What a variety. And still, and still, the prices are not that horrible. They are not. They're really still underpriced in my estimation based on the materials, the quality of workmanship that you get. Just my opinion. Take care, my friends. You know what we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.